Hi, my name is Beth Massey and welcome to the Windows Forms over Data video series. In this next video, we're going to be creating a data entry form with a lookup list. Sometimes we want to display a list of values to our users to select from, but only store the key into our table, like when we have a foreign key to a reference table, for instance. I'm going to show you how to create one of these lookup lists using a combo box, as well as using a combo box inside of a grid. In the previous videos, we created a database called OMS and an application called the Order Manager, and I have that open now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new form. So I'm going to right-click on the project, select Add, and select Windows Form. And we're just going to name it Form 4. So the next thing we're going to do is connect to our data. So I'm going to go to the menu, select Data, and Show Data Sources. And this will open up the Data Sources window. Notice that I have a few data sets in here already. If you've been following along in the previous videos, we've been creating forms with data sets. So I'm just going to add another one now. So we'll select Add New Data Source, choose Database as the data source type. We'll use the current connection string that we've already set up. This form is going to be editing orders. So I'm going to be selecting our order header and the order details onto this form. So we'll go to Tables, select Order Detail and Orders, and I will name the data set Orders Data Set. So now I'm just going to drag the orders as the details onto our form here. And then you'll notice I'll select the order detail as the grid below. Um, keep in mind that we have an order detail here at a, this level in our data set and also at this relation level. We want to make sure that we always select the related order detail. That will give us the automatic filtering as we scroll through our orders. So let me just set the anchor property here on our grid and get this out of the way and make the form look a little bit better. I'm also going to edit the columns here and we're going to just remove these two here. Okay. Okay, next we're going to add our lookup. So I'm going to add another data source. Click on Add New Data Sources, select Database, use the connection string we've set up, and I'm going to select products this time. So what I want to do is create a list of products to show in that grid. But actually, I don't want to select the entire table of products. I just want to select the name and the product ID. So I'm going to call this products lookup data set. So the reason why we put the products lookup inside of another data set is now it's going to be easier for us to use this data set on other forms. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our toolbox and we're going to drop a binding source into the component tray and we're going to name it products binding source. Okay, and I'm going to select for the data source we're going to go into other data sources and we're going to project data sources and you'll see our products lookup data set here. Okay. Then we'll select the data member is product. Okay. And when we do that, it's going to actually add the products looks up lookup data set and the table adapter to our component tray. Now we're ready to adjust this grid here. So we're going to go back to edit columns and I'm going to select product ID and then for the column type, instead of the text box column, we're going to select the combo box column. And now we've got some properties here to fill out. We'll select data source is going to be our products binding source we just set up. The display member is the name and the value member is the ID. So this means when I select a name in the products drop down here that's going to display, the product ID will be set into the order detail table. Okay, that's what a lookup is, and that's what we want. So click OK. So the only final thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, go into the view code so that when we um, click save, we'll also be saving our order details.
Okay. So I'm just going to hit F5 to test this. And you'll see it brought up our orders. And you can see that there's a lookup list now for our products. So when I drop one down, you can see the list of products from our product table. So when I select one, what's happening is that the product ID from the product table is getting stored inside the product ID of the order detail table. Cool. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to create a lookup for the customer ID as well. So we're going to pull down the list of customer names and display them here instead of showing this ID. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new data source, select database, use the current connection string, and this time we're just going to select the customer ID and the last name. I'm going to call this customer lookup. So this assumes we don't have a thousands of customers in our database because the user would have a hard time looking through all of that inside of a lookup list. But just for this example. So what we're going to do is just delete this text box and then we're going to go to our toolbox and I'm going to drop down a combo box. And then I'm going to also create a new binding source here. And we're going to call it customer binding source. And I'm going to select other data sources from our project. And I'm going to select the customer lookup data set we just created. And the data member is customer, the only table in there. OK, so now we can go to our combo box. And I can say use data bound items. And we can select data source is customer binding source. The display member will be the last name. The value member will be customer ID, and the selected value will be the orders, excuse me, the orders binding source, customer ID. Okay, so what that means is it's going to display the last name into our drop down here. When we select value, it will put the customer ID from the customer table into the orders table. So let's go ahead and hit F5 on this. And now we can see that we've got a drop down of customers. So I could change the customer here on these orders. And as we scroll through, you'll notice that they change. So we can make a change to this one. Save. Great. Looks like it works. So the last thing I want to do is I want to order the customer and products in alphabetical order in our drop-down list so it's easier for our users to select the items in there. So quickly, I'm just going to open the Solution Explorer, and we're going to double-click on our customer lookup data set, and we're going to right-click on the customer table adapter and select Configure. And all I'm going to do is enter an order by clause. last name. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for our products. So I'm going to double click on the products lookup data set, right click on product table adapter, select configure, and order by name. Okay, and now we're just going to run this one more time. And you'll see when we drop down, you'll notice that our products are now in alphabetical order as well as our customers. So I'd like to thank you for your time. If you'd like to check out the Visual Basic Developer Center, we'll be posting updates to these videos there. Please also check out the Visual Basic Team blog and my blog for more information. Thanks again.